Good morning beauties, it's Rebecca Thompson here and if you don't already know me or what I do then I help women to live better essentially and help them to master being coherent in their whole self physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, everything on board with feeling good <clears throat> because so many women that I speak to burn out or and are working perhaps on shooting themselves that I should be this and I should be that and trying to you know master their mindset and then you know do their exercise regimes and sort of all these bits and pieces rather than perhaps pulling in in a really coherent way how to be all of you in the best possible way and what I love about how I work and what's quite unique is that we do bring all these different aspects in together so I want to show you today one of my favorite yoga poses that I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, are familiar with, and it's called Earth Warrior. Now, all of us, I'm sure, want to feel like we have strong, safe foundations emotionally, mentally, and physically. And this is how we want to work in our lives in terms of our own personal growth and development, is to bring those aspects in together. And the Peaceful Warrior... That's a bit better, I'm out the sun now. The peaceful warrior, the earth warrior, trains us to do that in our bodies. And that overflows into our mental state and into our emotional state. But particularly when you bring the attention and the awareness to it and you watch out for the common mistakes. So that's what I want to show you today is to bring more attention, more focus to that which you want because that's how you create it, yes, for yourself in this moment and to attract more of it. And also the common pitfalls that you want to watch out for because they can actually just then be regrouping your bad patterns, which are keeping you in tension and pushing and out of alignment. And we don't want to be doing that, right? We want to be, let's get that out of the way. We want to be maximizing any personal growth and alignment work. We want to be maximizing, we want to make sure we are not regrouping bad patterns. So let me show you the pose if you're not familiar with it. It's a little bit slippy on this rug, but I shall do my best. So we have the feet in this position. We've got heel to instep alignment and the back foot's turned about 45 degrees in. Let's just talk about the spinal alignment to start with. That front knee's bent, but the spinal alignment needs to be straight up and down. Our earth warrior is teaching us to stay in our center no matter what. Now I teach two types of center. One is your central core center, and one is your vertical core center. And Peaceful Warrior helps us to stay in both. And when we are in our center, we feel grounded. We feel connected to what we're actually feeling. And this vertical core brings us a sense of courage and inner strength and clarity. But what I see very often is this. Right? And it's just because we don't know what we don't know in our bodies. If we haven't been adjusted to feel this, this can feel normal for us and can feel like we're upright. But what's happening is what? We're leaning out of our center and we're leaning into the future. And where, what happens in the future if we're living in the future instead of right now? That creates anxiety. All right, so anxiety comes from trying to live ahead of ourselves and projecting into what might happen. So when we are always leaning forward, we are, can be in that place or we're in that place of the mind of pushing. I have to be somewhere. I have to get somewhere. So we want to make sure that the shoulders are above the hips and tuning into the spine to help us with this vertical core. Of, I am here now. I am clear. I am strong. I am centered. And then bring the energy down in this sort of V shape into the pelvic bowl and down to the earth. So we're getting a very strong, grounded feeling. Because being brilliant without burnout is about having these strong foundations, yes, physically, but also what that does to over um, flow into your mental state, into your emotional state. Because how much more would you show up? How much more would you do if you felt safe and stable and strong and clear all of the time? So we want really strong legs. We don't want hanging legs and arms up like this. <laughs> we want strong legs pushing down and out, really rooting down into the ground. This strong sense of vertical core, this sense of a, a triangle kind of grounding down to the earth. 
And then what happens is that your arms can float. Your arms can float. They're not big weights anymore. Feel the difference. If your legs go floppy and you kind of just hang a little bit in the pose and you bring your arms up, how heavy do your arms feel? Just feel that for yourself. Now, if you push down and out and really ground down and feel your spine and your vertical core, get really clear in that, really focus, float your arms up, your arms feel so light. And this is how we want to be in the world with strong foundations and light flowing actions. Not tense weight of the world on your shoulders actions. Relaxed actions, flowing actions, responsive actions that are responding to this inner center, this inner connection to your soul self and answering those whispers, not pushing and lifting and taking the weight of the world and I should and I have to get here. And then your gaze is then down your middle fingers, relaxed, strong, stable, centered. We can focus on what that next step is. Soft gaze, holding the distance, holding that future lightly, but focusing right here, right now. Clarity, next step. The big picture we hold lightly. Ah, how good is that? It feels so amazing. I would invite you to try these different ways of doing it. Yeah, try it with light legs and then bring your arms up and, you know, have a little bit of a lean forward and notice how it feels and tell yourself when you're in the pose I am strong I am safe I am clear I am peaceful I can show up in the world with power with strength and with peace I'm a peaceful warrior I'm connected to the earth I'm connected to my desires I get divinely led and it is effortless when I stay in my center, in my center. Yeah. The more you can bring the feeling of what you want to create. So that feeling of peace, strength, courage, clarity. When you bring that feeling in, and that is why these yoga poses are so great because it brings the feeling into your body, but you need to focus on that then emotionally. And you need to be, you know, doing that pose to the best of your ability to create that feeling within you so that you're not standing there feeling effort and stress and pushing and when am I going to get out of the pose? <laughs> because then you're reinforcing stress and pushing and when am I going to get out of this situation in your life? Right? We don't want that. So now I can see lots of little comments on here. I'll check those afterwards. So please pop your comments in. I can't see them from over here, so I will check them afterwards. But do feel free to pop your comments in. Let me know what your experience of Earth Warrior is. Let me know, yeah, what you're, what you're feeling, what you're thinking right now with this. And I'm going to show you a little bit more alignment in this direction so you can see what's happening with my knee. Another couple of um, common mistakes I see. So you want your heel to be in line with the instep of your back foot. So when you're fully in alignment, I can't see myself because of all the comments, but you shouldn't really be able to see that back leg if you're out in front. And one of the things that happens a lot because of restriction around the hips is this front knee collapsing in. Now, I see this all the time. It's to do with one of two things, restriction in the openness of the hips or weakness around the bum. <laughs> so the primary thing, excuse me, is to bring that knee open. That's the primary thing that you want. And if you can't do that without disturbing the back leg or creating some pinching in your back, then you shorten your stance so that you can get that knee over the toes alignment because that is important. Why? Because this is your aligned stable foundation and we're all about creating strong, stable foundations in this pose, in all, in everything, right? Your life needs a strong, safe, stable foundation because that's when you feel safe to leap, to stretch, to desire, right? To expand. We don't feel that if we don't feel safe and stable. So knee over toes. So you may need to shorten your stance to do that, but the other thing you may need to do, and I give you full permission to do this because some yoga teachers encourage you to just push everything open, stretch it open and fit yourself to the pose. But as women, we have very different hips to men and often a lot of asymmetry in our hips because they're so much broader and we have different things going on with our pelvic area, don't we ladies? So I give you permission to roll that back hip in a little, see that? Roll that back hip in a little if it helps you keep your knee over your toes and it feels okay for your back. Knee over toes is the most important. 
back hip can roll in a little just make sure the back knee feels okay and adjust that foot if you need to all right now the other thing is we want to try and keep the heart still to the side because we want it really open and expansive all right so when you're in a really beautiful alignment you can't see much of yourself you can just see this one long line but it's okay for that back hip to come round a little we're not trying to squeeze you into a situation it's like trying to squeeze you into a certain role in life and we are all very different but there are some key things that we want to do in order for safety in order for stability in order to be training what it is that we want to be training through the pose and earth warrior like i say is all about strong foundations it's one of the poses that we work with a little bit in our program particularly at the beginning stages our day one of our three-day immersion in our bare beacon in my bare beacon programs all around how do we create strong and safe sound foundations in the body so there's a lot of precursor work to this as well to open up through the hips to get strength in the legs to get this sense of beautiful balance to release stress in the body these are all so important things because if we just work on mindset or emotional processing often we won't let ourselves go there because we don't feel an underlying sense of safety to feel that to show up as that we haven't got that sense of trust within ourselves so it is so important to do the body work to do the embodiment work of feeling what you want to feel in a pose and it helps the emotional release and the mindset work so 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 much more and then it's a collaboration you want everything to be coherent with you if you're trying to work on your mental and an emotional piece and balance and stability and courage but your body is saying a whole different story you've got sloppy legs and unstable pelvis and tense shoulders do you think it's going to be possible you're going to constantly be fighting what your body is saying your body is not on board with that story your body is still saying no there's something to be stressed about no there's something to feel unsafe about but when everything is on board that's when we get the fast track right so if you want to know more about the way that I work, then uh, pop a little PM below or a little message in the comments below or send me a PM and I'll put you in, um, send you a link where you can read a little bit more about this work that I do in the Beer Beacon program. All right, my lovelies, but I hope you have some great takeaways from today. Let me know your thoughts below and have a great day. I'm now off to teach a whole class of this. All right, my lovelies, take care.